The delegate from Culpeper, Delegate Freitas. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise for a point of personal privilege. The delegate has the floor. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, obviously, there's been something of a, a battle going on in the Commonwealth of Virginia with respect to mask mandates in our schools. And there's uh, varying opinions on this. And obviously, Governor Yunkin has issued his order, which is really based around the whole idea that this is a decision best left to parents and individual students. And then in the Commonwealth, we're certainly not going to deny a student in-person learning because they don't wear a mask. Now, some local jurisdictions disagree with that, and so there's a court case pending. But one school district in particular has decided that simply taking this to court is not good enough. We were recently treated to a message from the Loudoun County Public School System and telling a parent whose child showed up to school without a mask that until you arrive, your child will be held in an in-school restriction situation here at school. They are not allowed on campus or on Loudoun County Public School property starting tomorrow. It will be considered trespassing. Well, for those of you keeping score at home, trespassing is a class one misdemeanor. It can come up to 12 months in jail and a $2,500 fine. Now, thankfully, Mr. Speaker, the local sheriff's department and the local police department came back and informed Loudoun County Public Schools that they're not going to waste their time coming onto a campus in order to forcibly remove students because, they don't be, because they're not wearing a mask. Now, maybe at this point you're thinking, did the Loudoun County Public School System think to themselves, gosh, maybe this was a bridge too far. Maybe this was just a little bit draconian to call the cops on somebody for trespassing because they were in school without a mask. No, Mr. Speaker, they did not. In fact, they went so far when they received um, news from law enforcement, the resource officers will not go hands-on, nor will they enforce a verbal no trespass for peaceful mass noncompliance without a summons or warrant being issued from a magistrate LCPS decided that the appropriate course of action at this point was to inform everybody in an email on the detailed instructions for visiting a magistrate to get a trespassing warrant sworn out against parents and students. And if anyone can imagine what this would probably look like on a public school campus as the cops come to forcibly remove students without a mask, the school also reminded everybody that, once again, no media is allowed on public school campuses. Can't imagine why they wanted to make sure everyone understood that. So, Mr. Speaker, I think most parents would look at this, and regardless of where you fall within the mask mandate issue, they would probably think that arresting a student or charging with trespassing or potentially giving them a $2,500 fine or jail time is a little bit extreme. But just to add insult to injury, let's all keep in mind, this is the same public school district that when a student had to be removed for charges of forcible sodomy, sexual battery, sexual assault, that student was quietly moved to a different school within the district where the student reoffended. So if you're wondering why parents are looking at things like this and thinking, what is going on in our public school system, this is it. This is it right here. This is what they've been talking about. This is why they sent us to Richmond in order to correct for things like this. Because, Mr. Speaker, in the Commonwealth of Virginia, we should not be sending someone to jail because they didn't wear a mask in our public school system. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker.